Hello everyone and welcome to another TDR Family Gaming video. This is Droid TDR and today, what are we doing? What are we doing, Traveler? Well, I'll tell you what we're doing. We're gonna go over here and figure out what this teapot that keeps exclamation pointing me is all about. It's teapot called home. The crisis looming over Louie Harbor is calmed and his business as usual. However, Madam Bing, the flower admirer from Yejun Terrace, seems to have something more to discuss with you. Complete this quest to unlock the Seren... Serenity, Serenity Pot. Okay, let's go to quest. Teapot called home. Navigate there. All right, so she wants to talk to us. I have a feeling it's gonna be battling stuff in her teapot. I don't know. Let's go see what she's got to say as we run along the sparkle path to Madam Ping. Ping, twang. Bang. Why is she up? Oh, okay. Sturdy Woo, what is up with you? I'm gonna walk around you. Sturdy Woo. Alright, Ping. Ah, Tell us your thing. Children, come, come. <laughs> You've arrived at just the right moment. The right moment, I've been perfect. For you. Oh, what is it, Granny? Need any help? What can oh, we do for you? No, no. You've done so much for Leo Harbor already. I could hardly ask for more. Hmm. In fact, my old friends and I have been putting our heads together to think of what sort of gift we might give Ooh, you. Ooh, that sounds return. nice. A gift? For Paimon? Uh, I only did as I should. Are you too kind? <laughs> oh, child. You are so very modest. Uncommonly so, even. But you mustn't decline this gift. I simply won't allow it. Hmm, when you traversed okay. my old teapot in search of the cleansing bell, I heard your little friend mention that you often camp out in the wilds. We sure do. That simply won't do. How come? Especially since I imagine you still have a very long journey ahead of you. Could be. Fortunately, I have not yet grown so old as to see my subspace creation abilities atrophy. What is a subspace oh, creation? Did my friends never mention that to you? Well then, it is a blessing we old folks once received from Rex Lapis. Part of our illumination, if you will. Okay. I will not go into too much detail, but subspace creation is the ability to create a small, autonomous pocket world. Uh huh. The like your teapot. That you previously was a little trinket created using that ability. Trinket, so, eh? In the eyes of an adeptus, creating a magic teapot world is just child's play, huh? Oh, indeed. The teapot is nothing to boast of. One such as myself must depart from this realm to create a world of one's own. Okay. Rex Lapis, on the other hand, moved mountains and seas. That is what one might call an exercise of true power. True power, uh, okay. But that's enough nostalgia for now. The gift that I have prepared for you just requires a few final materials to really? add the finishing Really? So is touch. this really a fetch quest? Are you serious? What are the missing materials? I can help you look for them! That's right! Find da, stuff da, 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 oh, Settle down now, children. There's no need Why'd she for turn her to back to us? hither and thither. <laughs> I have already found a fleet-footed youngster to prepare what I need. Oh, good. What's more, I doubt that you would know how to find the materials I am searching for. Some of them are very rare indeed these days. And what well, are those? For starters, I require some shimmer soil from the banks of Dihua Marsh. Back mm. in the day, it could only be found where the glazed lilies thrived most profusely. You would okay. have to dig downward, following the roots of the glazed lilies. And if you were lucky enough, you just might find a small patch of shimmer soil Shimmer there. soil. But almost mm. no one has been able to find shimmer soil in this manner since Dihua Marsh came to be the way it is today. Oh, bummer. Even more difficult to find is Maragdus Jadeite, which must be chiseled from the rock of the chasm. Or... So it used to be. 
Okay. Ever since the Black Cliff Forge opened for business, they've slowly but surely stripped the mines all but completely bare of it. Wow. In any case, Smaragdus Jadeite is an adept eye treasure, and the adeptal power within is not something that most humans can withstand. Extended contact with it is, in fact, harmful to humans. Right. Oh, goodness knows if that child will succeed in finding these items. Who is this child? Well, is it Childy Child? Adeptus, Granny, the person you asked for help, they must be an adeptus too, right? Hmm, yes. I suppose she does count as an adeptus. Wait, but it's not the ghost that was haunting the little thing, there right? There's so many adepti in Liyue Harbor. We seem to bump into them all the time. It feels like even when you go out to eat, you could be sitting next to an adeptus and never even know it. Could be true. Oh, maybe so. Who can say? A fair few of my old friends are rather fond of mundane mortal life, after all. I'm back, hmm. Granny. Who oh, is this? I don't believe we've met. Ah, allow me to do the honors. This child here is Yen Fei. She's Yen the one helping Fei. run some errands for me. Okay. Yen Fei, I believe you've already heard of the Traveler and her traveling companion. Hmm. Of course, who hasn't? Much has been written about you in the Millilith's records. Oh wow, You became a one Millilith, of the US huh? most wanted after the Millilith marked you as a suspect following the incident at the Rite of Dissension. After which, you fought off the Millilith at Julian Karst and made <laughs> yes, contact we did. with the Fatui. Yes, Before we did. finally defeating an ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being cleared of any and all suspicion by the Chising. <sighs> what a shame. What, what? Wait, what? A shame that we didn't meet sooner. Oh. If we had, okay. well, I can't say that I would have been able to clear you of suspicion immediately, but it certainly would have been less, uh, embarrassing for you. Allow me okay. to introduce myself once more. I'm Yenfei, a legal advisor. Got a legal problem? You can come right to me. Oh, yes, here's my business card. You'll find it has my contact details and office address. Keep it handy. Okay. If you have an urgent issue, just leave me a note at this address. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, I offer a very generous discount for first time customers. All right, Yenfei, okay. all right. Let's get to the business at hand. And she's a fire I do player, not think apparently. These two are in any dire need of legal assistance at the moment. Nope. You'll have to excuse Yan Fei. She's always been like this, ever the talkative one when it comes to her own affairs. Are you really an adeptus? I was going to ask the same question. You seem really different from the ones we've met before. An adeptus? Uh, I guess, kind of. My old man said he was one anyway. Hmm. He mentioned that he once campaigned with Rex Lapis for a long old time, and then after that was all over, he went back and married my mom. They had me, okay. and once I was all grown up, the two of them upped and left on a journey, leaving me with Granny here. Oh, well, that's okay. a bit casual for an adeptus. Aren't you guys supposed to sign solemn contracts to protect <laughs> you at Harbor and all that stuff? What do you mean he just went back to get married? Well, my dad did say that he'd talked it through with Rex Lapis and that he was fine with it. Even contributed towards the wedding gift, apparently. Hmm. Anyway, let's not dwell on that too much. So, Granny, I've gotten a hold of most of the stuff you asked for, except for Smaragdus Jadeite. I couldn't find any at all. Is that mm. so? Hmm. But Smaragdus Jadeite is really rather essential. Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? They have helped Liyue greatly, after all. It is only okay. right that they are duly rewarded. I know, Let's Granny, you've told reward. me a thousand times already. Well, the chasm's definitely a no-go, but there's still a chance we can figure out some alternative means of procurement. Okay. <laughs> Hold on a moment. Let me have a look. Where did that book come from? a really thick book. What kind of things do you write in there? Commercial consultancy. Or, or, Snezhnaya. Ah, found Krossel. A Snezhnayan merchant who once came to me with some legal queries on certain articles in the legal codices. If my memory serves, 
all of them had to do with rare ores. He hmm. mentioned that he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins, and wanted to know if there were any legal ramifications that he should be aware of. Said he was planning to sell them in Snezhnaya. So, okay. I guess I'll go look for him. With any luck, he'll have gotten his hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite, or might have an idea of where we can find some. Well, welcome oh, with you. Join me? Sure. I suppose that's no problem, but it's best if you just stand by and watch. If you try to get involved, you'll only risk placing yourself in legal jeopardy. <laughs> wow. Okey An adeptus imploring us to avoid incurring legal liability. Well, that's a first for sure. Yeah. Well, at least we be a little more careful than usual while we're with her. Probably so. It's a good thing we have our gliding permit. All right, let's go talk to Costo Crosto. Follow the yellow brick road. Let's go. Let's go, Sparkle Path. Sparkle Path. Sparkle Path. We're running on Sparkle Path. How did she get so far ahead of us? Maybe she's traveling with us incognito and we can't even see her. All right, 60 meters away. Down, down, and here we are. Okay, mister, can we get some smag delicious jade or whatever it is? Hello, Mr. Crossel. <clears throat> How's business been? Do tell. Oh, good, very good. All thanks to your advice, Miss Yanfei. What brings you here today? <laughs> You're too kind. I was simply doing my job. Now, I believe that the last time we met, you mentioned that you were looking to source some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins. Have there been any further developments on this front? Uh, well, yes. As a matter of fact, uh, in the end, I did acquire a small piece of Smaragdus Jadeite and had it fashioned into a pair of hairpins. Miss okay. Yanfei... Might I presume that you have an interest in the hairpins? I must apologize, I have already rented them out to a lady named Zhe Chiao. If you'd like to inspect them, you may have to wait quite some time. Oh dear. Wait! Isn't Smaragdus Jadeite really rare? Aren't you worried about the hairpins getting damaged or lost while they're being rented out? Hmm. No, I'm not worried in the slightest, because I signed a contract with Ms. Zhe Chiao before renting them to her. The contract okay. makes it quite clear that if she loses or damages the item in question, she must compensate me for its full original value. In okay. return, I included a clause that guarantees the Smaragdus Jadeite is genuine, with a penalty of ten times the item's value payable by me to Ms. Zhi Chiao in the event that it is shown to be a fake. No Guaranteed ambiguity genuine, there. With ten times the value payable if this claim is shown to be false, yes, these terms are very clear indeed. Mm -hmm. Of course. This way, both the client and I have the assurance we need. To ensure fairness, each of us has retained an original copy of the contract. Nice. In that case, might you know where Miss Sher Chow lives? We'd like to pay her a visit and have a look at the hairpins. Oh, oh I bet she's going to make she false her address ones. down when we signed our contract. Here, I'll bark it on your map for you. Thanks a lot, Mr. Crossel. We'll be off now. I bet she's going to make a fake one and try and get him to pay. Oh, no. Don't do it, Miss Zichao. chow I'm bored. Higher, 25 meters. Up the stairs. Up the stairs, the sparkle path says. Up. Oh. I almost made it all the way up the stairs without running over a railing. And down the stairs. And here she is. Oh, whatever shall I do? Excuse me, are you yes, Chi Chow? It's me. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, were How they do stolen? You do, Mr. Chow? We understand from Mr. Crossel that you recently rented a pair of hairpins from him. My associates and I are very interested in them. Would you mind letting us take a look at them? The hairpins? I can't lend them to you right now. I... 
I've lost them. Oh dear. I don't know how it could have happened. I always kept them right by my side, and I hadn't even worn them yet. I spent so hmm. much money on them. If I have to pay their original value, there's no way I could come up with that amount of money on such short notice. Hmm. I... My family is in the ore business, too. But business has been suffering ever since the chasm was sealed off. We now have a backlog of paid-up orders just sitting around, so we've been having to purchase some stock from other ore merchants to complete them. A big banquet is coming up in a few days, and several ore merchants I know of will be there. I need this opportunity to mingle and discuss prices. That's what the hairpins were for, to... Oh. Well, to keep up appearances. I can't have them looking down on me, but now that I've lost the hairpins... What will I do? Hire us. Why does Paimon find your hairpins. sense of deja vu? Maybe because this is where I say we can but help. Would you really? I sent a commission to the Adventurers Guild, but I haven't heard anything back from them yet. Yeah, it's because, well, Don't run I keep up looking for the hairpins to do just those. yet. Mr. Chow, would you let me have a look at the rental contract you signed? Huh? Well, I mean, sure, I have it right here. Here you are. <laughs> she she walks around with her contract. That's right! Yancy said she's a legal advisor, didn't she? Maybe she can help Jichao somehow. Yeah, it would be True. unfair to cross all, so but... surely there must be a win-win solution. Right. I finished reading the contract. The terms are very clear, and they do indeed stipulate that you must pay Mr. Crossell the original value of the hairpins as compensation for the loss. Yep. Furthermore, the contract also expressly states that the amount of compensation must take current market prices into account. Okay. And given the rarity of Smaragdus Jadeite, I fear that the final amount of compensation may end up being significantly higher as a result. Even higher? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Uh -oh. She's broken. Jitya looks like she's about to faint. However, all of this is assuming that it is indeed genuine Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid into the hairpins. Did you really have to pause before saying that part? <laughs> anyway, the hairpins are lost, so how exactly would we be able to find out if the Jadeite is genuine or not? We Which find the hairpins. We've got to start by finding those hairpins. Except that if we found the hairpins, there'd no longer be any need to check whether the Jadeite is genuine, would there? Uh, seems right. Please. Please, I... Don't trouble yourselves over this. The fact is, I lost the item, and I should pay compensation per the contract. Okay. However much it is, I will have to pay it. My family are merchants, after all. It's vital that we keep our word and respect our contracts. Now that it's come to this, I really shouldn't keep Crossel in the dark any longer. I'll go and inform him of the issue, and then... negotiate the amount of compensation. Yes, mm. legally speaking, it seems this is the most sensible course of action. But before that, I have some questions about the hairpins. So yeah. hold on a moment, Mr. Chow. When you first touched the hairpins, what did you feel? What did I feel? Well, I remember that the gemstones set into the pins were perfectly smooth to the touch, like the finest quality jade. My family has seen much jade pass through its hands in the past, so... I am quite certain of my judgment in this matter. Hmm. Smooth to the touch. Finest quality jade. I thought it was supposed to be, like, harmful to humans, so why would they put it in something you put in your no, hair? No, it's nothing. I just need to re-examine a few things. Let's head over to Mr. Crossel's. Really? We're going back and forth? We're going back and forth. And scene. You can't beat the atmosphere ah, here. Miss Yanfei, you've returned. With Miss Jichao and To, too, I see. How are the hairpins? I trust you're quite satisfied with them? Hmm. About that. Okay, she talks about the hairpins getting lost. The, you lost them? Are you serious? Do you have any idea how expensive they were? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. I'll pay the compensation as per our contract. Every last Mora. Mora? Oh my. Do you have any idea what I had to go through to get my hands on that Smaragdus Jadeite? I, I just don't... 
<laughs> Forget it. Talking won't bring them back. Since Miss Yanfei is here, I suppose we can just have her estimate the amount that needs to be paid. No problem. But before I can give an official estimate, I'll need to do a little market research. Ah, yes. And if I may just confirm again, it was in fact genuine Smaragdus Jade Eye inlaid into the hairpins, correct? Of course. Genuine article guaranteed, or I pay back ten times the value. All right. Okay. Understood? I'll conduct some market research, and once I'm back, I'll provide an official assessment of the sum owed by Mr. Chow in compensation. Please wait here, Mr. Crossel. Thank you very much. <laughs> How could she lose my hairpins? She'd better pay every last mora that they're worth. Looks like I'll have to find some way to raise that money. Hmm. Please wait, Mr. Chow. I have something to discuss with you. It's not convenient to speak here, so... Let's find somewhere that we can sit and talk in more detail. We can sit in blue for some reason. Alright, so what are we doing now? Let's go find a place to sit. Sparkle path. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. Sparkle path. Sparkle path. Goes shiny sparkle path. Bam! I need chicken legs. Thank you. If you watched my cooking episode, you know how badly I need them. What should I try this time? Ah, a place to sit. Yes. Here is a place to sit. Miss Yenfei, what is this about? Are you... Are you here to tell me how much I owe? Why is this sparkling? No. What I, wanted I feel to like talk there's a book is, I need to steal. There is a chance that the Orin laid on those hairpins may not be Smaragdus Jade Eyed after all. Oh, really? <laughs> what? Because they were smooth <laughs> and they were, you, you know, cool. Are you already sneaked off and found them? Obviously what? not. I'm no adventurer, let alone a member of the guild. I don't run thankless, time consuming errands for a living. Let's just say I made some deductions. I don't know okay. if I told you this. But Smaragdus Jadeite is found deep underground and contains very concentrated elemental energy. Right. If mere mortals come into contact with it, well, they'll be sick in the best case. And in the worst case, they could even experience a dramatic change of personality. It most certainly would not be smooth to the touch. Hmm. Mr. Chow, did you at any time feel unwell while the hairpins were in your possession? No, not at all. I felt perfectly fine the whole time. Not even the slightest bit unwell. I didn't feel anything special at all, in fact. Hmm. hmm. Now that is strange. I noticed earlier that there were elemental traces in Mr. Crossel's vicinity. If I have deduced correctly, he may still have the Smaragdus Jadeite in his possession. If that's oh, the case, interesting. we should go confront him right now and expose his dirty scam right to his face! Hmm. Absolutely not. If we were to confront him now, there's no way he would admit to it. Eventually, he would find some argument to compel us to leave. And then, he'd throw the Smaragdus Jadeite into the sea the moment we were gone. Or After something that, like that. He would simply insist that Mr. Chow pay up per the contract. He would lose nothing. Meanwhile, we would have to look under every stone in Liyue, hoping and praying that the hairpins do actually still exist somewhere in this world. That so is, vivid that Paimon yep. thinks it might be experience talking. Oh, it Ew. certainly is. I've seen my fair share of situations like this, and brute force methods are certainly one way of resolving them. Fortunately, I have far more elegant solutions at my disposal. Excellent. I'll share them with you in due course. Okay. Well, since you're so experienced in dealing with problems like this, perhaps you could help me, Miss Yunfei. Oh, that won't be a problem. But first, Mr. Chow, can I ask you to please sign this contract? <laughs> I'm working for you. Does there have to be a contract for everything? Paimon can't even keep track. It feels like Yanfei is even more concerned with them than a certain someone else we know. <laughs> exactly. These are my formal terms of engagement. Everything prior to now has just been pro bono advice. But for me to investigate any further, I require a written contract. Any work commissioned but not bound by a contract cannot be relied upon. Okay, I then. Understand. Then I will be glad to place this matter into your capable hands if you will take it, Miss Yunfei. 
No problem. Just sign here, and I'll sign too. Okay. Now write your address here, and then sign on this page as well. And wow. I'll also need your signatures on pages five, seven, and on the very last page. Finally, if you could just use this ink pad to make a handprint over here. Holy. <sighs> <laughs> All right, that's do it. My fees are the same as always, and they're written in the contract. Have a look through and let me know if you have any questions. Well, for I one, you said through. you give discounts, Everything right? Checks out. Wow, that well, was a then, quick read. Here's your copy of the contract. I will retain the other copy. Not for now. No. I'll just sit here Despite then. Despite how intractable this problem might sound, it will actually be quite straightforward to resolve. Once we've got some things squared away. I don't Okey believe dope. you have been part of an investigation like this before. In which case, hopefully this should be quite the experience. Miss Yunfei, I have to ask. Why are you helping me? Because, as it happens... Because you signed the contract. I'm currently trying to acquire some Smaragdus Jadeite myself. I noticed strong traces of geo-energy around Mr. Crossel. So perhaps he has, in fact, secured some. Whether he actually made it into an item of jewelry or not is a separate matter. But either way, it's a lead. As long as we follow it, who knows? We might just be able to get our hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite. Also, the idea of someone abusing the law to their advantage? I won't stand for it. But again, let's not dwell on this. Let's go to... Hmm... Where can we find someone who processes ore? Ah, I've got it! Let's pay a visit to Chateau, the boss of the Chateau, Jade Mystery. Chateau, huh? The He's Jade a professional mystery. when it comes to working with stone and ore. If Mr. Crossel had his ore worked on at all, Chateau would undoubtedly have been his first choice. Oh, yes, I remember him. Okay. So, first of all, we're going to pick up the string of pearls because there's a book sitting on a table and I must have it. Secondly... We're gonna stand on the table and say goodbye because, oh my gosh, this quest line is longer than I expected. I don't know. We're gonna go take a dip in the pool first and then we'll come back up here and stand on the table, like I said. Ready? Three, two, one, stand. Stand on the table, come on. Oh my gosh, she can't stand on a table. She can't, she jumps out. What? There, ah, come on, stay. Stop. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. Come. All right, we might, we might, we might just, all right. I don't know what to do. I can't, there we go. All right, that's good enough. You're on a, you're on a stool. Okay, that's fine. So thank you all for watching. We're going to go f talk to Shitao next time and see if we can unravel this uh, Scramagis Jade debacle. And that is what we will do. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.